Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we want to learn how we can add MySQL connector to our Eclipse IDE tool. And uh, so let's go and let's do this scenario. For this scenario, we need from one side um, an Eclipse tool that is running, as you see here, and from the other side, we need our um, MySQL server that is also running on my Windows machine. As you see here, for a better understanding, I have a very simple Java program. With the use of this Java program, we must be able to, to be connected with our MySQL server on this machine. And after that, uh, this uh, program will create a table in a database, in this database, in my DB, as you see here, and we'll create a table with this ROS and uh, it shows us that um, the connection is okay and the table is created successfully. But if I run this program, as you see, we get an error here. And uh, this error is because of this, uh, this driver here, class.forname. As you know, this class.forname will upload the driver. But in this case, uh, we have a problem. So we're for this problem, for this error, we have to add MySQL connector to our Eclipse ID so that it will be the driver will be uploaded and it will be connected to our My uh, SQL server that is run. Here, uh, before the um, find a solution for this problem and adding MySQL to the Eclipse ID, let's have a look of MySQL server that I have. Um, installed on my machine. As you know, this program will be connected to this uh, database here, MyDB. And if we go back to MySQL, here is that database as you see here. So first we try to be connected to this uh, database in MySQL server itself and check if the connection is okay with the database in MySQL. And after that, we go to the uh, Eclipse IDE. So for that, I go to database here, click on that, and we have an option, connect to database. Here, as you see, the username is root and the password. I give the password here and OK. And after that, default schema is my DB, the name of our uh, database. As I said, it is my DB. So, I click on OK. So you see that it, we will be connected to our database. If I know type show, for example, tables, semicolon, and if I run this query with the use of this option here, you see that we don't have already, we don't have any table in our database in MySQL. So, it means that this program does not work for us. So for adding and for installing MySQL driver, MySQL connected to the Eclipse ID, we have to download it first. And after that, we add it here. So we open a browser and here we just type MySQL. And after that, we go to the website of MySQL, www.mysql.com. I click on that and after that we go to downloads here under download we scroll down we go to the MySQL community GPL from here you can download uh, MySQL products for free I click on it and here we have some options as you know as you see and one of them is connector from slash J this option so I click on that under this window, you see that connector, this version of connector. And by default, the operating system is Windows Microsoft selected. We have to change it to the platform independent. So I select platform independent. And now we have two options, as you see here, and that is a MySQL connector. This version, version 8, in two formats. I will download this one that is in a zip format. So I click on download. And in the next page, you will be asked either login to your Oracle account or sign up a new account. So we don't need it for this scenario. We can 
uh, click on this option here no thanks just start my download and as you see the download will be started here so we go to our download folder and here we uh, it's a zip file we just open it you can use any tool that you have for opening zip files and one more time and here you see that we have the mysql connector and it is a jar file i just make a right click on that and cut it and paste it here on the desktop so i can access it easier you see that now it is on desktop so we go back to our eclipse here is our eclipse id we go to the project we make a right click on that and after that we go to properties the last option here we have a option java build path by in my case it is by default selected so if it is not selected by you you just make a click on that and after that here we have some options we go to the libraries it is by default selected um, in my case so you select libraries here and under libraries we have some option the last option is class path so we click on class path and after that this option will be activated for us we click on the second one add external jars and as you know it will be as you see it will be by default we come to the desktop and to this jar file and it is the mysql connector that we just um, uh, downloaded so we select it and we click on open now it is under the class path this uh, mysql connector and after that we click on apply and apply and close now um, we try to run our java program one more time and we check if we get the error one more time or not so i run the program as you see this time connection is successful and table created successfully so we don't get the error anymore and if you go back to mysql and we run this query one more time you see that this time under the tables show tables under the tables we have my table and it is uh, this table it is the name of this table that we have created here and we have it right now under mysql and here if we type describe my table and we run the query you see they are the the rows the, from our table and they are exactly the rows that we have defined here first name id and last name first name id and last name it means that the my um, SQL connector works for us and with, uh, with the use of that we can connect our java project to our mysql so that's it